Come and join us today as we show you all the things that are great to do with little ones at the Kennedy Space Center, which is located in Merritt Island in Florida. All right, today, today we're at Kennedy Space Center. We're gonna show the best things to do with kids while we're here. What do you guys like to do? I like to play in the playground. Experience? Yeah. Gateway is awesome too. Let's go. Let's go. And make sure you get here as early as possible because it's really easy to spend your entire day here. I do have a separate video on the must-dos, but this video is gonna focus on the kiddos. And when you first walk in, they have the daily schedule, but they'll give you a pamphlet too. I'm gonna see if we have any current shows going on. So when you first walk in, you have the Heroes and Legends, which is, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't recommend for kids so much, but they have the, because they just talk about the, they just talk about the astronauts. The heroes, that kind of thing, which is great more for adults. They have the rocket garden here, which it's fun to explore, get some photo ops. And then Gateway is the new building that has a simulator, which is kind of like Soren if you've been Epcot. We're gonna go to the show first because they only have two shows today, which is at 12 and 145. So they do have a Starbucks for us adults. And then the Universe Theater has different shows throughout the day. We're gonna show the Snoopy one, which is our favorite. So they have all systems Argo mission status briefing astronaut encounter. I don't know if that's extra though. And it's a matter of fact is great because it talks about um, liquid, solid, and gases. Educational. Yes, they have the Snoopy stuff. I forget which one. Do have all of them been in space? I'm not sure, but it's really neat. I think these are the plushies that they sell in the store. We'll do a quick tour of that too. Dear Snoopy. Please get to the Johnson Space Center by 0900 Central to start your training. Wait, Snoopy! I'm following Snoopy. He's on his way to NASA. Sounds like you may be suffering from some sort of space delusion. Excuse me? I'm looking for my dog, Snoopy. He's a black and white beagle with delusions of grandeur. So, is Snoopy really training for a mission? He is. In fact, he's now at Kennedy Space Center on Launch Pad 39B. All systems are go. Come on, gang! We better start collecting these moon rocks. An asteroid is a relic from the time the solar system was forming. They're made of rock or metal. Almost a million asteroids exist between Mars and Jupiter in an area called the Asteroid Belt. I'm so glad you're here to dream it with me, little pal. So we did bring our own sandwiches and chips and waters because um, just to save some money, but you can eat at the Orbit Cafe too. But they do allow, allow you to bring sandwiches. All right, so the Gateway has this Soarin' ride, like I mentioned. We're gonna show that and some other things that you can explore in here. It says 45 minutes to 60 minutes. That's not, in, that's not correct. If it's not up there, like if people aren't waiting up by the stairs, then it's not long. Like you can walk right in there's the entrance nobody's over there so if this is empty and then the wait time is a lie but this is really neat this is a neat area for all ages they've got flight flown artifacts here and little things to explore there's an interactive deep space habitat different things you can click buttons and help try to fly little capsules so you can touch over here, a lot of stuff to touch and interact with for kiddos or adults. And we're gonna go up top to show you the little ride that they have too. There's four options. Yeah. So this is a good view up here of everything. Uh, Emily wants to do Cosmic Wonders because it's purple, so we're going to try one of those. This is Alexander Nebula. She was discovered in 1888. A proto star, the first step in a star's life cycle. It becomes a main sequence star and will continue in that phase for millions to tens of billions of years. In a violent explosion called a supernova, we're gonna go to the space store and do a quick overview of what they have but that was the gateway we're back at the front 
there's the Starbucks. They have an ice cream place, the Universe Theater, like we already saw. We're gonna head over to the gift shop and then do two more buildings. I'm gonna put the bus tour in from another clip that we've done because it stops at like 2.30, I believe, taking people over. So this trip, we did not do the bus tour. I'm just putting in some old footage, but it is really neat being able to see a rocket launch simulator, even the actual building chic. So it's a pretty neat effect. And then as you exit, you get to see all sorts of different artifacts and information about the different Apollo missions. And of course, that huge Saturn rocket that's in there. It is ginormous and really neat to see. So they have a Red Rock Grill. Journey to Mars is another theater. They have an IMAX theater with Planet Play up here, which we're gonna do last. So let's stop into the shop here because my friend wants to look at the Snoopy merch and I'll show some of the candy too that they have. Look at the kitties and the dog. Look at that. That's adorbs. I like this dog. Oh, I like that one too. They do have stuff from like rocks from Mars and stuff too. Oh. Look at those plushies, guys. We have Loungefly over here, too, with NASA. They used to have one that looked like an astronaut, too. Oh, hello, kitty. I think I remember seeing her last time. They have lots of cute toys. So they have a huge store up here, and they have lots of toys for the kiddos. There's a Skylab and a rocket. Oh, they have Legos, I think. Here's all the Lego space themes. Cute. I don't see Snoopy plush. So you could dress like an astronaut, but it's so hot right now. If we can find some of the Snoopy stuff downstairs. What's the deal here? Three, two, one. Oh, terrified. Okay, Ollie found them. How much are they? Oh. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I can get a telescope? So it's mainly Charlie yeah, and. That's like Charlie and Fun. Yeah! All the Snoopy and uh, Woodstock are gone. Right? And they also have astronaut ice cream, Neapolitan or vanilla. Please try strawberries or mint chocolate chip. We've had them before. They're okay. Alright, so the Orbit Cafe has free water refills. You want to do that because you don't want to spend $4 on a water here. They have a Coke freestyle machine, so we're gonna refill and get cold water. The campus is pretty big, but it's easy to navigate. Not as big as some of the other theme parks, so everything is pretty easy to find. But most of the attractions have some sort of pre-show, so we're gonna actually enter in the side and just skip it. Yes, thank you for Vanessa for my flower. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and follow Adventures with Allie and Emily. On YouTube, subscribe, I will check. Subscribe. <laughs> so in the Atlantis building, when you leave, there's actually an astronaut doing autographs for 10 bucks. It's pretty cool. It's the line for the autograph astronaut closing at five. This is in the Atlantis building. So they got some stuff for heroes or fallen heroes. There's this huge piece of the Atlantis that has actually been into space. It's pretty cool. There's the shuttle launch experience, which is like a ride as a simulator. And they've got this play area upstairs. They have a huge slide the kids like to go down. But it's neat for all ages. Great for the parents for to read all the little artifacts and information. See what's really been in space. This thing is huge. I can't even film it all. And then they have stuff for the kids to interact with, play with. And we're going to show the playground at the very end. But definitely a lot to do here. It's easy to spend your whole day because there's several huge buildings. And you gotta check out the space toilet. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. All right, we're probably gonna check out Planet Play and then head out. 
but just hopefully this helps you give an idea what to do with the kiddos. So just a heads up, they close the entry there 30 minutes before park closing. So if you don't get in before the 30 minutes, you won't be able to enter. But there's actually three different floors. So if you have an extra parent, sometimes one of us stays at the bottom and then the other stays at the top. Or of course you can just kind of follow them around. But there is a lot to do with climbing, slides, different activities down here. One of the kids' favorite things to do. There is more I didn't show in this video though, so I will link our other Kennedy Space Center vlogs down below if you want to check it out. Today is a kid subscribe from a video to the channel subscribe! Click either of these two videos next, the top one being where we show the food at the Kennedy Space Center, especially for their special Taste of Space event they have every year, and the bottom one being the Orlando Science Center because I feel like that's a little bit closer to something like this.